probably delete the comic corner. That's probably it. Okay, let's try that. Okie dokie. Here we go. Welcome back to Mashuku Tensai Jobless Reincarnation. Anime review episode number, believe it or not, 45. Yeah, so it officially makes us three episodes less than the actual main series. Yep. We are here viewing the final episode of Core 2 and Season 2 of Mashuku Tensai, 48, known as Succession. Uh, before we talk about the episode, uh, it was revealed at the end of the episode that we are getting a Season 3! Hooray! And I'm like, that's awesome! Given the fact there's exactly 14 books left to adapt for the series, so of course we get season three. I'll talk a little about that later. Okay, so here's what happens. Rudy and his group basically arrive back in, well, Roanora. And he's basically worried about Safi, Norn, and Aisha. So he runs back to his house. There's a little bit of stuff cut here and there. By the way, this episode come, uh, adapts from the rest of chapter 13 and goes through chapters 14 to 16. And there's no epilogue, it's just basically 16 is the final chapter of the book. So he goes in the house, looks all around, trying to wonder where his wife and sisters are. And he finds Aisha, very happy to see her. She's like, he's like, oh, Nissan, what's go like, what happened to your hand? Because of course she had the reaction. Of course, there we see Safi and Nora comes later. And you see us Safi, she's very, very pregnant. She's basically expected within a month. So everybody sits down, and of course, Norn arrives too. And of course, also, well, Zena basically is there too, sitting down. And basically, Rudius explains to his sisters what happened. Their father has died, and their mom has got, uh, she has some mental issues. Basically, she does not remember anything. She doesn't remember her own name. She's a bit of a kind of tonic. She can see, kind of see stuff, but not fully. And then he takes out, of course, Norm grieves, obviously cries. And he takes out Paul's gloves, his sword, a little cup thing that basically is his ashes. I think it was like one other thing he took out. So, in response, Norm took his sword because she wanted it. Makes total sense. Zenith took the gauntlet gloves. Even I was surprised about that. And, the, of course, the ash is basically normal. And after explaining everything and what happened, well, they accept that. And then everybody leaves. And Roxy is still there. So, with everybody gone, of course. Then we see Elsie where she's basically put her hand on her belly. Now, I'm, I'm thinking that it's, this is implying that she might be expecting she might be expecting a child. She's probably carrying Cliff's child. That's my personal theory, anyways. Given the fact that they actually, well, bit of a spoiler, they do have a child in the, in the books. They do. Despite the fact she's she's much older than Cliff. Cliff is around Rudy is his age, and Elsie is Selfie's grandmother. Now, of course, Cliff, of course, has no problem with the fact that she's older than he is. Just wants to help her. So, then, of course, Roxy's still there. And, of course, I'm sure Safi's, like, wondering, like, why is this woman here? So, she talks to, basically... So, Rudy has taken his sisters and Roxy, uh, Roxy and Selfie into the room. Uh, oh, by the way, Lilith um, revealed that she's going to take... She's basically going to be staying with them, along with, basically, Zenith. And Lilith was taking care of her personal needs. And Aisha was wondering if they would have chores. They said it will discuss it later. Which, that's fine. So basically, Roxy uh, is introduced. That Roxy is, well, he's asking permission now to basically have her become wife number two. He does apologize for, kind of, for basically cheating on her while she's expecting. But, of course, Norn is one reacting... Like, Miller's flowers can't have more than one wife. But, they don't say this in this episode, and I haven't mentioned the book either of this conversation. Rudy is not a follower of the, the Miller's faith. Neither is Safi. 
And, of course, basically, Roxy thinks it's a bit uncomfortable, so she tries to leave. And Safi basically kind of accepts her, given the fact how dirty Rudy's mind is. I mean, she knows Rudy. She knows they were kids. So, him basically taking her wife alongside her, her for her, it's perfectly fine. Because it's Rudeus. Of course, basically, he would do this. Now, they don't mention here. Now, in the book, they mention Roxy might be pregnant. Now, they say that in the anime. I'm not really sure why they cut that out for. You would think they would keep that in, but no. They cut it out. Why would they cut it out for? I mean, that is one of the reasons why he wants to marry her. Because she's expecting his child, too. And, of course, so, uh, Selfie basically pointed out, and of course, probably Norn, that Paul went through the same thing when basically both Zenith and I and Lily were both pregnant with both Norn and Aisha, respectively. Now, of course, Roxy does mention she will become, she basically says she'll wait until after the baby is born, Selfie Reese's baby is born, to officially take become Reese's wife. Rudius and Selfie both accept it. Norn is not like it very much, and of course, Aisha keeps teasing her. And of course, well, she won't. And, and you can see, if you watch this episode, you can tell the sword, Paul's sword, is heavy. Like, Norn is struggling holding, holding the damn thing because it's a heavy sword. She's probably going to train her butt off, basically, to use the damn thing. And Rudius himself is not exactly. He, from what I can tell from watching the whole series and reading the books, he has not been a big fan of using swords at all. He throws magic over swords. So it takes after his mother. But in the case of when it comes to women, he takes after his father. Because he loves pretty ladies. And the thing is, uh, one thing you read in the book, he is not picky about breast size. Nope. He is not picky about it at all. No one even points out, though, Roxy is like, she thinks she's a little girl, but she's really short. And Roxy points out, though, that I'm fully grown. And in the case of the book, basically, she mentions she's an adult. If you wonder how old Roxy is here, I think she's supposed to be about 50 at this point. But given the fact she's a demon, uh, yeah, because Roxy is, in fact, um, she's from a tribe of demons. Who've got hum, uh, human appearance, but she looks very young. I mean, she looks like she's about 15-ish, but she's actually much older than that. She is older than Rudy. Is, than Rudy. So, Rudy and Cliff have something in common. They both fell for older women. And Selfie accepts her into the family, mainly because, basically, Rudy is constantly mentioning her in, uh, in common respect. Of course, here's the thing. Selfie and Reeses do not know about the fact that he keeps a pair of Roxy's panties in the basement. Yeah, as far as I can tell, reading the whole series, Roxy suspects he may have had a pair of, pa or pair of panties, but Selfie never finds out about it. I think Aisha does kind of know about the panties. Norn does not. She never finds out. Uh, Selfie, of course, does not know. And she will never know. Now, they do mention this in... They show this off in the anime. There was this there was this hidden room. Now, in the books, that becomes Rudeus' private office. Yes, Rudeus built an office in his house. Like his own personal study. Yes, it's behind a hidden door. But that becomes his office. So, where was, where was um, Salfi when he arrived? Gathering wood for, for fire. Yes, and after all that, then a month passes by, and Sophie and Rudius' first child is born, who they name Lucy. Uh, the subbing kind of changed the spelling of her name for some reason. In the book, it's spelled with a Y. Here, it's spelled I-E. I'm not sure why they changed that for. Excuse me. And then, of course, basically, like, now, they don't bring up the fact that Aisha was there. Like, you kind of see her, but there's no mention of her helping out. But you can imply basically what happened here. Help out with assisting with the with delivery. Of course, the book does go into a little bit of detail, the birthing scene of, of this. Which, I am very happy the fact they cut that out. 
purely because basically we did not need to see that. We did not even hear Aisha telling itself a push, push. Now the thing is, that is common in live action stuff when people basically do the whole birthing thing. Now, my guess is the reason why they cut it out, I don't think it was cut due to time. No, I don't think that was the, the reason for it, is that the scene wasn't necessary to be there. We didn't need to have it. So, for someone like me who has read a light novels, all 26 of them, I own basically uh, all but the first nine. For me personally, it is perfectly fine to cut most of the scene out and just have just, oh, here's Lucy, and the fact that she's got blonde hair. And here's the thing. She says here that it's not green, like hers. Now, okay, there is an explanation for this. The reason why she was really hoping not be green is because of a particular evil god might be reincarnated called Lapis. This would come to play a little bit later on in the books, when Safi and Rudius expect their second child. Yes, Rudius and Safi have two kids. In case you're curious, though, how many kids does, does basically Rudius have with Roxy? Two. And that's it, two. He over has six, but I'm not going to spoil what happens next. But he does have six children. And he doesn't have any more after that. It's like, I guess two, that was it. Now, I guess for some people, that's perfectly fine. They have two. Uh, usual limit for some people to have kids is the usual limit I've heard is three. Though I have seen people have more. Like, look, let's say something like Matt Hardy. He's got like five kids. Look it up. He's got five kids. I think it's like four boys and a girl. But back to the episode. Now, Lucy herself looks a lot like her mother. She's got the pointy ears. Uh, but the only thing she got from her father was basically the blonde hair, got her mother's eye color. Basically, physically, she looks like, like her mother, which I could, that's what I can tell anyways. Now, that is perfectly natural for daughters to, to, to look like their father, to look like the mother. Now, it does not look good when, when, when the daughter looks exactly like the father. Not really. Though, in the case of one particular female wrestler I've seen, where her face is very similar to her father, it's not being Tessa Blanchard. Or her face looks very similar to her father's, which, okay. I mean, if you look at her and look at her father, the faces are very... I mean, aside from the fact that yes, they're father and daughter, but her face is very similar to her father's. I've never seen what the mother looks like, so we'll be up from that. So, then afterwards, it's revealed that Rudius did officially marry Roxy. Uh, there's They do cut to mention the fact that she became a teacher at the university. They cut out of the anime for some reason. Maybe, maybe for time. That's my guess. The The final scene of the episode is Rudius at his father's grave. Where he has a conversation what happened since then. Now, in the book, basically, I think it was mentioned that if, in fact, the, that the child was going to be a boy, he would have named the boy Paul. That's what he was thinking of doing. But Lucy, basically, is, well, very acceptable. So... He brings along a glass of wine, basically brings a bottle of wine and two small glasses. He basically has a toast, he basically pours a drink for his father, and leaves the bottle there for his father. At his father's grave, and he walks away, and that's the episode. Yes, a very good episode, and overall, just really good season. Final thoughts on Core 2 and Season 2 of the anime. Yes, because we're at officially the end of the season. I have enjoyed the season. Now, I first heard about this season, like, a few years ago, when I, after I finished watching Season 1, I knew this season was coming. Yes, I knew very much it was coming. That... Did I suspect, basically, they were going to split the two cores like we did with the first season of the show? Yes, I did suspect that because first season had that too. Excuse me. So in two seasons, the series has already adapted the first 12 books. Well, kind of anyways. Though the season does suffer the same problem the previous season had. Where the fifth book death of the season, where its ending got rushed. 
because we really got to get to that last book quickly. Now, because heck we have season three coming, I am really, really hoping we do not pull this stunt again because that was stupid on the part of of Eggshell. That's the name of the studio who makes this, the series. Where the first two books are adapted really well. Got a good amount of time there. Uh, but in the case of this particular season, now they did, in the case of the third book, they did have four chapters, which there was a lot of cutting there. But overall, that's one of two episodes I could definitely see that, and this is my personal opinion, that there should be a director's cut. Because there was way too much cut. It was almost as bad as an episode from season one, where when they were down to book five, they skipped a whole chapter. Yes, a whole chapter, a very important story they could have adapted, but they didn't. I am still hoping they adapt this four to get to, I think it was like book 21, I think it was, where he meets a, see, Rudy, in the chapter that was skipped, Rudy has met his aunt, Xenia's sister, who looks a lot like Xenia. And for some reason, this is never adapted. I don't know why it was skipped for. It just was. It's baffling. The fact is, was skipped. Now, am I hoping for the season again, OVA? Like, in the first season, I had one. Yes, because they adapted a short story uh, that was an off screen adventure that the heiress basically had, where she basically, for, this is our first injury, because the cliff in the series. In terms of the anime, the OVA was his first ever appearance prior to this very season of the show. Now, the trailer I saw for the upcoming season, Eris will return. Now, it is something, though, the fact that I think in this season, I think she made one appearance the entire season, which I didn't have a problem with that, given the fact she makes one brief appearance in one of the six books we we adapted for the season, that was up for the season. But I don't have an issue with that at all. No, I don't. But my guess is for season three that... They're going to start out with the books 13 to 15 and then basically cap it off with books 16 to 18. Now, one thing I suggest for season three to do is to give each core, because I'm sure we're going to split two cores again like we did for the first season and this season, give it one extra episode. I'm not suggesting basically cut the third book adaptation by one. I'm not suggesting that at all. What I'm suggesting is, I know you have like 12 Give it one more, just so we can have that second book, or at least basically in the case of, let's say it again, our book adapted, uh, section adapted, give it more breathing room. That's what she's doing. Yes. That's my personal suggestion, and I really hope season two, season three would do that. Now, here's a fun fact for you. Uh, did you know in four months we're getting in there season three coming for an anime I'm watching? Yes. That being ReZero. And this is one of two season threes I've heard confirmed recently. That being, other being, um, Tushimunchi Moon of Fantasy. That's also been confirmed for season three. Now, here's also, now here's something. Uh, not many anime I've watched based upon light novels even have more than one season. A lot of them basically last, like, some are lucky to get season two. <coughs> the other ones I've seen that have more than one, one or two seasons have been the following. This show, Too Smudge Man Fantasy, Overlord, High School DxD, Konosuba, um, i trying to think, uh, I think that's it, of the ones I've seen, because mostly put, one, maybe two seasons, at most, but nothing more. Don't know why nothing more, it's just that's kind of how it is, sadly. Now, have I heard anything about Mr. Demon Academy guess season three? I have not heard anything yet. I wouldn't be surprised if we got one. Oh wait, there, there's no one. There's one that we're in right now. Uh, there is um, ah, uh, that's some kind of song. That, that's every third season right now. It's not a little one. Yes. But I did hear that one's been renewed for season four, which no surprise to get the fact how good the series is. But yeah, that's particularly a particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit the dislike button. Wow, who would thug basically this one for 20 minutes like about this one episode of my final thoughts for the thing? So, 
we wrapped up one season. Let's wrap another one. We'll talk about the final episode of Demon Slayer Hashra Training. Okay? That's next. Okay, next video. Bye.